In this video, I will show how to connect to SiteGround shared hosting using SSH. We are logged into the SiteGround control panel. Click on the dev link on the left menu. Under the dev menu, you will see SSH key manager. Here you can import your SSH public key. To find your SSH public key on Linux or Mac, you can take the terminal, then run the command cat dot ssh id rsa dot pub this is my public key copy everything and paste it here it says invalid field this is because of the new line character remove that press backspace now we only have this line you need to give a name for this key my ubuntu key click on import we have the key added here to login, we can use this information, copy it, the command will be ssh-p, then you have to specify the port, after that you need to specify the username, at the rate, host name, copy it, and you can run it in the terminal, paste the command, it will ask for the key fingerprint verification, type yes, and press enter. We are now logged into the SiteGround server using SSH. To see the files, you can use the command ls-la. Our website files are located in www folder. These are, this is our website files. If you are using Windows, you need to download software called Putty and PuttyGen. For downloading Putty, search for Putty. The official website is the first link. Click on go to download. This is a putty.exe. For 62-bit operating system, click putty.exe. Putty is getting downloaded. Next we need putty gen. Search for putty gen. Ctrl F putty gen. Again download putty gen.exe for 64-bit operating system. Take the file manager. Go to the Downloads folder. PuttyGen is used to create SSH key. Double click on PuttyGen. Click on Generate. Now we need to move the mouse so that it can generate a random key. This is the public key. Copy it. This we need to paste into SiteGround. In the SSH key manager, click on Import New. Give the name My Windows Key and paste the new key. Click on import. Let's copy the connection string. Go back to the windows. Take notepad and paste the connection string here. On PuttyGen, click on save private key. It is asking if you want to save without a passphrase. Click on yes. Private key will be saved as a PPK file. The extension will be PPK. I will save it as my windows key. Now you can close the PuttyGen. To connect to the server, use the putty. Here for the host name, you have to use this host name. And the port is 18765 under the SSH auth. Here you have to browse and find that PPK file. If you want to specify, you can specify the username also here. For that, copy the username and paste it before the host name and put an at the rate. Next, we can save this SiteGround server. Save it. Now, you can double click on SiteGround server. It will ask for key fingerprint verification. Click on accept. Now, we are logged into the server. LS-L. We can see all the file. If you want to revoke access to an SSH key, you can delete it. Click on the three dots and delete the SSH key. If you want to limit SSH access to a specific IP address, you can click on the three dot, then click on manage IP addresses. Here you can specify the IP address that is allowed to connect to SSH server. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.